Damn, yo, who do you would? I, I feel like I know your vote. Who do you think was the most underrated artist of the 2010s? Most underrated? Huh. Um. Let me just look at my phone real quick. But I think there's a lot. I guess the other way to phrase it is like, like if you go back to like NBA terms, like the sixth man of the year. Like he's not a star. Yeah, but he's still like his. He's not. It's it's not Tory Lanez if that's who you were thinking. Oh, I was gonna say Tory Lanez. <laughs> um, shit. I, actually, I think it might be Ty Dolla Sign. Uh, yo, for sure, it has to be, bro. It has to, <laughs> has to, has to, has yeah, to yeah Ty Dolla Sign. Six Man of the Year is yeah. Ty Dolla Sign, bro. Like oh. it has to be, bro. Like he's not the main guy. Like he doesn't start, but this nigga gets buckets, bro. Yeah. yeah. And think about it, yo, he's pretty much been around since like 2012. You know what I mean? Just consistent. He had a song, and uh, it was called Superstar or Sports Car or some shit. Um, hold on, let me find it. But I remember hearing this song, and I was like, oh shit, this song's dope. Who is this dude? And then, like, I never heard anything from him. It was Ty Dolla Sign, of course. And then I guess he was just writing shit for people behind the scenes before yeah. he came back and then did the hook for. YG song um, Toot It and Boot It and then like I guess from there on he got like a more well, I, so <clears throat> was this song before or after so when I heard uh, Paranoid in 2014 was that before Toot It and Boot It or after that was after and I think Paranoid was his like breakout single that's the because that, that dropped in 2014 that was the song that to me was like yo this shit's fire bro yeah like I was like first of all this is like every cheating ass dude's fucking nightmare so kudos to you for making this a fucking hit <laughs> right hey so yeah the song was called all star with kid ink i think in like 2011 okay or 2012 and then somewhere along the lines to boot it then paranoid and then of course the v- music video made it even doper doper as you mentioned bitch, everyone can fucking relate to it yep oh yeah i forgot about that part Dude, talk about the rise and fall of someone super quick. Jesus. Oh, yeah. That was that was actually one of the more surprising things. Uh, at one point, B.O.B. was basically like a Drake on every fucking remix, um, making pop hits back to back. And he fucking... Dog, if it wasn't for him, Bruno Mars probably would never pop. Oh, for sure. That song was super dope. It was on yeah, the radio for like from four years. I think Dom made the top 100 to like, where the fuck is he? Mm. So that was, I mean, I think that was more the 2000s, but still, like, that yeah. was quick, bro. Shit, that was super quick. All right. So-